this here is the brick separator. You might have one of these, or you might have a couple, and you might not know what this weird LEGO element does. My name is Tiago, and I'm showing you guys five different uses of the brick separator. This here is the most common use of the brick separator. If you attach studs here on this part, and then you press down, there you go. They're really easy to take apart. And you can do this with pretty much every LEGO element that has studs on top. You can also use this middle hole here and connect it to a jumper plate to take it off. You can also use the brick separator to take plates that are stuck underneath. For that, use this part of the brick separator, connect it, push up, and there you go. Very easy. Oh man, this is so cool, such a... <clears throat> yeah, this assembly can be hard to take off, but if you use the wedge and press it between plates, then you can detach them really easy. Nowadays, there are a lot of LEGO elements that have a groove underneath. And to take them apart, you can just use the wedge of the brick separator, like so. And like I was saying, this can be done for a lot of LEGO elements these days. Oh man, this looks so good, but when it's time to take it apart, it's a pain. Pro tip here, if you connect three brick separators or more, like this, you can do a master brick separator to take a lot of tiles all at once. Now let's go for the small ones. Okay, okay, you're having too much fun now. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Stop it. Oh boy. And lastly, we'll be looking at the Technic pins. For these Technic elements, you can use the pin remover. And as the name suggests, it removes pins. There you go. You're not really using the pin remover for the last one, right? You can just pull it out of... Okay, whatever. You can also use it to remove axles from assemblies just like this one. And that was it, guys. I hope you found the video useful. Please leave a like if you did, comment down below if you knew about all of these techniques or there was some that were new to you. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my daily building tips and also some random LEGO videos just like this one. Don't forget, stay safe and build something fun today.